midday. All right, friends, we turn now to Black History Month, where all throughout the month of February, we are reflecting on not only the painful history of our past, but also on the contributions that African Americans have made. And we have three Columbus State University students joining us now. We have Nikayla, Reginald, and Giovanni. Welcome, guys, uh, to our studio today. So let's, let's talk more about what Black History Month, why is it so important today? Nikayla, we're going to start with you. Um, Black okay, History Month to me means that, you know, we have been through so much and we need an outlet to make sure that we have a secure space and a place where we fit in. So that prompted me to create and bring the National Council of Negro Women to our school. Yeah. And I'm also a proud, devoted member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, the Theta Phi chapter. Okay. Yes. <laughs> awesome. She is proud of her sorority there. All right. Well, we thank you for joining us. And also, uh, so Reginald, you are part of the Student Activities yes, Council Executive Board. Um, so I'm not going to talk much. Tell me, what does Black History Month mean to you? So to me, uh, Black History Month means just a sense of community, a group of people that inspire, teach, motivate, congratulate everything that you do, every and anything really. And so that's something that I've really tried to... Um, zone in on right. when it comes to our events because we've done multiple events throughout campus from Soul Food Sunday to Love Jones and we actually have a family reunion event going on tomorrow on campus. That sounds really exciting and that's the, that's amazing there. Thank you. Thank I'd you. love to come. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <All> <laughs> Plenty <right>. of food. <laughs> Alright and lastly Giovanni from Brooklyn. He was, he was proud to tell us <laughs> earlier uh, you are a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. Tell us what does Black History Month mean for you? So to me, Black History Month is just a way for me to celebrate my blackness in, in its entirety. And, you know, just, you know, just give thanks to everybody who's paved the way for me as a black person and as a black man as well. All right, guys. Well, this has been a, an important discussion. I wish we had more time to talk with you guys. Uh, we thank you all so much for your time. Uh, we're glad to have you with us here on News 3 Midday. So let's get a check in with Nicole for a peek of your midday weather, Nicole. Well, we'll get that a little bit later, but coming up later on News 3 First Edition, the story of a retired Columbus pastor who was on the front lines of the civil rights movement back in 1960. You'll hear from Reverend Rudy Allen's story on the participating in the Nashville lunch counter sit-ins. That and more. After